Hi, Seamus. Phil Beaver here at the Wilderness Club. Just want to recap on uh, what we worked on today. So I thought swings coming along really good. With the last lesson, we were trying to get them hands to track a little bit more inside the line, keeping the club head out. And we can see here the first move, the club goes a little bit outside the line, but nothing like last week. So really, really good. I do need to keep an eye on this club head, though. It is getting a little bit inside, but we left that alone today. Top of the swing's quite tidy, quite like that. Club face a little bit closed, but we've always had that. But the left arm and right elbow's in a good position. So all quite nice. We compare that to Rob here on the right. We can see there his club head stays in front, cuts through the right forearm nicely. Left arm travels up the chest, but into a nice deep position there. So really, really good. Just yours and his, his club's in a nice straight line where yours is slightly across. But otherwise, all good. When you start down, really like the arm movement here. We're getting the club much more in front. Really good position here if I compare that to Roberts as well driving down as he unwinds we can see there you and him are in a great position left arm's nice and in front you've got this nice little gap here of daylight like he has as well so it's really really good setting up for that nice little sort of sting cut my problem with you today was really for me the legs and the chest to stop rotating left shoulder goes up and you're getting this sort of stuck position now as we're coming in as you're coming in that's your impact position and you haven't quite hit it got a lot of that left arm showing uh, and for me, your hips and everything are moving forward. So if we look at Roberts again, coming into impact there, we can see, look, want to make contact with impact. Hardly see any of his left forearm. A little bit of his left leg showing, but he's definitely just cleared that little bit more of the chest. He's got that less, uh, you look like you're a bit stuck this way, and he looks like he's pointing, say, that way. So today's lesson was really just keep working on trying to swing left and across it. Keep the hands passive. Use the stick drill still. Uh, if you need to, just keep swinging left and across it, but get that chest out of the way. And I should move up the gears a bit today, so I want to start hitting it a little bit harder just to get that body out of the way. Um, some, you hit a couple of funny shots, and that was purely for impact. Not many, but a couple where your arms go out to the right that way. Uh, just keep an eye on that. We want to keep that left arm attached to the body on the way through, and then you can start the ball just left and hit that squeeze cut that I think we're looking for. So... Otherwise, very good, Seamus. If we look at Robert for impact there, you're going to see his club cuts out nice and low. And if we look at yours now, I think you're doing a really good job of getting that club cutting out low. But just a couple of swings I did see today where your arms sort of separated and went, went out to the right, and that'll cause you a few problems. When you get the wedge out, just get that ball a little bit further back in the stance, a little bit more weight left. But I really need that pressure going down and left a bit more, Seamus. I need some big divots with the wedges. You tend to sort of hang back and scoop. Uh, and you seem to get actually a bit more compression with a six iron than you was a wedge. But at the end of the lesson, when we was working on the wedge, you know, we was working on this target here, you were starting to dial it in quite nicely. So nice and steep into the back of the ball with the wedges. Really good. And when you're chipping, when we did some chipping work, just remember we want to see two shots, high or low. Low is your normal sort of swing. We're just going to control it with the shoulders. Hands stay ahead and turn that left shoulder out of the way, and the high ones, we're going to let the right hand flip underneath, so we're going to use the sole of the club. We'll touch more on that when we have a bit more time on the course. Um, work on that. Putter, I think we need to go a little bit longer, uh, and I still like you left below right, purely the fact it keeps that right hand nice and quiet. Any problem, Seamus, just pop in and see me, but looking forward to uh, getting that handicap down.